Welcome back, my friends. Today we're talking optimization with my buddy Nate. Now, oftentimes I want to optimize my video work, my camera work, my conversation. Every day I'm trying to get better for you guys. Fortunately, I have Nate here today, and we're in Maypole, and we're going to talk optimization, and we have some really I'm gonna go really again, really, okay, one more time, really cool parts on this table. We're gonna discuss the optimization of these parts. But first of all, before we dive into each of these components, Nate, what is this department all about? I've kind of summed it up with the optimization for number three now, but I'm sure there's more to it than just a word. Yeah, so optimization, just troubleshooting and fine tuning tools in order to meet and exceed the customer's expectations. Um, Every situation is a little bit different depending on whether it's surface finish, uh, tool life, or what have you. You are an important person. I would say that right away to meet and exceed customer expectations. Because well, I would say these days expectations are up here yes, they for are. most people. Yes, so they are. having you come in and make sure that what they've, I would say a lot of times, thought about, not even really put into practice sometimes, yep. thought about, you make it exceed expectations. That's incredible. Thank you. How long have you been doing that? Uh, four years now. Oh, let me just so, shake your hand for, you. for participating in that side of that world. Yep. So I know you have a few kind of designs here. I mean, this one blows my mind. I can't wait to learn about it. But a few designs here that help people understand a bit more about what it means to optimize components, right? From yep. additive manufacturing. I'm going to let you decide where we're going to go with that part of the conversation. Okay. I'll start making things up that don't make sense. But let's go from component to component to help the audience understand the, the necessary attributes that you bring to help and exceed yep. expectations. Well, we can start off here. I mean, chip control or chip formation is a big issue. Uh, sometimes you get long stringy chips that wrap around the tool, get stuck between the uh, the part and the tool body and score it up. You also get chips that get stuck inside the parts that the washers can't get out. Um, so in this case here, we added uh, chip breakers, which is basically like a, a void in the face to help curl and break the chip. We have chip splitters, which makes the chip more manageable. Uh, it's like about six millimeters. We can break it up into three different segments, two millimeters wide. Um, we also had to put a back flushing spigot in there in order to get the coolant where it needed or where it's needed and into the flutes so you can get the mechanical advantage out. Um, so just trying to fine tune it to help them out. That's clever. That would exceed my expectations. Can I tell you a super quick story, Nate? Would you mind? Yep. So when I was machining platinum, I was considering the top 5% in the world of understanding how to machine platinum. Most yep. people think it's a very soft material, but if you try and cut it, it turns into barbed wire. And we didn't have any chip breakers, and yep. I sliced my fingers every yep. single day. Yep. Could have used that tool, especially with the coolant coming through to help with that flush as well, because yep. it would rip apart. Even diamond tools, it would rip apart, yep. believe it or not. Yep. Crazy. All right. I'm fascinated by this one, Nate. I know you have something that I, is going to blow my mind as well as the audience as well. What is this thing? It looks like a transformer piece. <laughs> well, both these are basically like a lightweight design. Um, you know, it's not just like the spindle, how much the how much the spindle can handle, but it's also the tool changers. You're gripping down here. Sometimes you're turning the tool 90 degrees to 180 degrees, and if you have too much weight out here, it can fall out of the the tool changer arm. So. In some instances, you can just do clearance cuts to reduce the weight. Here, we had to go with a welded design to really cut down on the weight. Um, you know, and we even need to look into 3D printing, which I don't have an example here, but you know, just another way to cut the cut the weight down and help the customer out with their limitations. Um, is weight kind of what you're working on in this area? And I bring that up because I think you've showed how truly weak I am these days. Because yeah. this, is, this is yeah, this is heavy, heavy, but you're right. I think about this being, you know, kind of a smaller HSK. Yeah. And if I'm gonna hang out this far, let me hold it this way for yeah. my cameras, but this far and make somewhat, hopefully, rigid cuts yep. with little vibration, yep. I couldn't imagine it being much heavier than that. And I don't even want to try to pick this one up. Yeah. I mean, it's it's still not it's not lightweight by any means. It's not a feather, but uh, anything helps. You know? Yeah, and it works. I imagine you know the calculations. You know how it works in the machine. It works yeah. for the balance of weight ratio of the machine. Yeah. And if this was solid, forget about it. Forget yeah. about it. I, I mean, know we're in Michigan, but forget about. I mean, you couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. And it really comes down to what you know. Every even in HSK 63, you can have one with low weight, high weight. You know, it's kind of all in between. So yeah, and you gotta I gotta custom fit it to what they have. And when you're playing this game, I'm going to play my role of Captain Obvious, but I can only imagine as this continues to extend, 
you have to play even more so with you know yep. that weight and balance and of course the hsk to be able to grip it and hold yep. it the further it goes as well yeah especially with the tool changer so four years of this i can only imagine yeah. what you've <laughs> seen let's slide over to this fourth part nate what are we looking at here with this one so this is another example of you got to work with what the customer has you got to be user friendly um you have to set all four of these inserts down to like a micron of each other and some customers don't have the machinery or the skill set to do it so you got to look into options that are more user friendly um, like we have an hbr 400 which is like a high precision pocket uh, high precision ground inserts and it's just the change of the insert you can hold 30 micron more down so um, you know you just gotta it's a joint a joint operation with the customer with us making sure you know they can use it all right i have a question about all of this yeah have you always been kind of open-minded and creative enough to say, let's see what we can do. Let's turn the impossible into possible. Send me your prints. Maybe this hasn't been done ever before, but we're going to try and make this work. Has that always been in your DNA? Yeah, and I think that's Maypal's DNA too. I do. You know, we want to provide solutions for all their issues, really no matter how difficult the situation is or the application. So. Wow, I'm impressed, truly impressed. I mean, if this is what we're seeing, if this is what we're allowed to show on camera, my friends, imagine what Nate has seen off camera. So if you're having any issues out there, something you need optimized, if you want to be your expectations exceeded, reach out to my buddy, Nate, reach out to Maypal. My friend, thank right. you so much for joining thank me you. on camera and educating yep. me today. So good. Yep. Thank, thank you all you. for joining us as well.